Hello and welcome friends. Uh, in today's video I am going to be showing you a wonderful and easy technique to paint these beautiful loose poppies in watercolour. I'm beginning today with a piece of paper already taped onto my board. Uh, I've got it portrait style for these lovely poppies and you can see I have gently outlined uh, a little bit in pencil just a few stalks and the base of a few petals. That's all it is, a few lines and a couple of semicircles. And I'm just going straight in with a little bit of water and then on my brush I'm putting this incredible uh, bright red vermilion paint. I'm putting it on quite thickly here, you see. I'm using a mop brush, which is I think uh, one of the best brushes for this technique because it holds a lot of water and holds a lot of paint. It's wonderfully versatile. You can get these uh, lovely shaped, uh, almost calligraphic strokes with it. It's got a lovely shape and you can see how quickly and easily there I just created our first poppy petal. And here we are again with the second ones, just following the pencil lines that I put in to uh, just give me a little guidance as to where I want the uh, base of the flower to be. Uh, but really just going a little bit wild at the top there, <laughs> being a little bit spontaneous and uh, not really minding where the paint goes just as long as it looks bright and beautiful uh, and it follows the general uh, shape of a poppy petal which uh, often they're quite raggedy, they're quite large, uh, they're very beautiful and they're great for this sort of loose watercolour technique. And uh, with these beautiful red poppies you often find they have uh, a dark part of them at the base where they're connected to the little seed head, uh, you often get some dark black streaks or marks there. So all I'm doing is popping a little bit of Payne's Grey in there to diffuse whilst that bright red paint is still wet. This is essentially a, a three colour video. You just need a red, a black and a green. <laughs> or another colour if you're not a fan of red, you can do I mean, poppies come in in so many colours, you can do whatever colour you want. Uh, I just happen to have this wonderful uh, vermilion paint on hand, so uh, it would be a shame not to use it. You can see I've fully loaded up my brush with water and colour, and I'm just starting to do these extra sweeping marks to do more petals. Just carefully going along the line of the petal here, not quite touching it so the paint doesn't run. We get this lovely crisp white uh, delicate edge to the petals which differentiates them from each other. Uh, I want to make this uh, top petal quite ragged along the top. You can see that's why I'm just sort of doing these careful, careful strokes to uh, differentiate the petals but then I don't really mind about the top. I'm just sort of blobbing the paint in with a little extra water and if you want to do these lovely soft uh, lost and found edges here all you need to do is put in a little bit of extra water and then dab some of the uh, the lines out with a tissue which gives you this lovely blurred effect uh, for the top of the petal there it makes it look like it's dissolving beautifully and elegantly into the paper. Again, just following the line of that petal with the brush, leaving enough white space to differentiate the petals out and then just uh, filling in, uh, trying to be quite spontaneous with the little brush flicks, trying to get a little ragged, loose edge on that lovely poppy petal, filling in with our beautiful vermilion paint. The vermilion that I'm using today actually happens to be uh, one of my own uh, handmade paints which is one reason I'm so excited to use it uh, and to share it with you in today's video. You can see here it's a lovely bright colour, it's really versatile, um, there's a lot of range in it. I think you can see the uh, as it goes from light to dark with the uh, addition of extra water 
I just think it's really, really great to use. Um, we do sell some of these paints. There should be some available soon in my Etsy store. I will link below if anyone's interested. But of course, you could use uh, any paint for this. Uh, I think um, Winsor & Newton do some beautiful colours as well. Their uh, Winsor Red is a lovely, deep, rich, slightly blue-red, and it works beautifully uh, for this sort of thing. Uh, you could also use a vermilion of any other brand. Or you could do blue poppies, or yellow poppies, or orange poppies, or purple poppies. Uh, any other colour that you like. You can see I'm just dabbing that top edge there with a little tissue again to get a lovely loose, soft top line there, just to make it look like the flower is almost dissolving into the white paper behind it. And now I'm coming back in with the Payne's Grey and just adding in uh, these little dark hints here and there to just uh, put in a little extra detail on these poppy petals. You can see I'm just using exactly the same mop brush. This doesn't need to be too fine or detailed. And if you put it in whilst the paint is wet, you'll get this lovely natural diffusion. Uh, basically, that the paint does all the work for you here. This is a really easy and simple way to get these lovely uh, loose looking flowers. So now I've switched brushes. This is a rigger brush, a uh, size small. Uh, you can see it's got quite a fine point and quite uh, a long brush as well, long uh, sort of set of uh, bristles here, which holds a decent amount of paint and water, which means I'm able to get these lovely clean lines just going straight down from the bloom uh, to the bottom of the paper. I'm using sap green for this, which is a lovely spring colour, uh, great for plants, and uh, is one that I really enjoy using as well. And now all I'm doing here is bringing in a little bit of extra shadow into these lovely green lines, these green stems we've created with an extra little bit of Payne's Grey. Just pulling it down there. I've got a little bit on my brush and I'm just connecting the dark part of the flower petals to the stem with a little bit of extra shadow. Just letting that run down those stems which are still slightly wet and I'm just going to be introducing with the fine detail uh, rig brush, just a little bit of extra shading, a little bit of extra detail on these stems. Nothing too difficult, just a few extra lines and a little bit of extra colour. Of course, the whole idea of this painting is that it's a, a lovely, loose and almost uh, impressionistic style of painting. These lovely poppies, beautiful as they are, aren't exactly photo real, um, but they're still very clearly poppies. Uh, so you don't need to be too precious about getting everything too perfect at this stage. And you can see I'm just going back to the mop brush and I'm going to do these lovely buds now. 
all I'm doing for the uh, opening bud is just to putting two uh, sort of blobs. <laughs> I don't really know what else to call them. But I'm using the shape of the brush to just press down and then lift and it's leaving behind those lovely perfect shapes uh, which are the opening buds which I'm then going to fill in with some more vermilion for the uh, those slow blooming poppy petals. So I've cleaned my brush and I've gotten myself some clean water because I don't want to contaminate our lovely red uh, with the green or with the black which would make it sludgy. So you can see it's just as simple as putting some red on my brush and then laying it down carefully flat on the paper, getting the tip in between where I've put the uh, impressions of the, the poppy bud and just feathering out a little bit of red detail which is giving us the impression of these beautiful ragged poppy petals bursting forward. And all I'm doing now is just adding in a little bit of extra Payne's Grey on these buds just for a little bit of extra shadow and a little bit of extra detail. Uh, this is an entirely optional step. If you're happy with your greens, then go with them, but uh, I can be fussy. So uh, I put in a little bit of extra shading there to help with the, uh, with the detail just on these little flower buds. So now just for the finishing touch on this uh, lovely spontaneous painting, some paint splatters. I've dipped my fan brush in quite a loose mixture of the sap green paint and now I'm tapping it against a clean brush uh, to get these lovely impression of splatters on the paper. I'm just doing the red now, I'm putting the red around the sort of the edges of the petals to make it look like this brilliant beautiful red shimmer coming off the tips of these lovely poppy petals. And there we are with the finished painting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. I uh, hope that it inspires some of you to have a go at your own poppies. They're such a wonderful, beautiful flower. I'd love to know how you get on uh, in the comments. Uh, please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or subscribing to my channel. Uh, or check me out on patreon.com uh, for any extra video tutorials, photographs, etc. So thank you very much for watching again friends and I'll see you all in the next video.